What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply page builder elements into WordPress with Gets. So let's start at the point that all of this page contents was created using the page builder elements and blocks like Gutenberg, WP Bakery, Visual Composer, Elementor or Behavior Page Builder, any page builder that you like you use to create those page layouts, but normally you can add page builder elements into widgets, like these widgets placed into the footer. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use widgets so you can apply into the footer or sidebar and how to edit the footer. So Yes, it is. It's totally possible to apply the page builder elements into a widget. And we're gonna do it just right now. First of all, let's have a look at the widgets into your WordPress dashboard, appearance, widgets. And here we go. First footer, second footer, third footer. You can apply or remove widgets, just dragging and dropping the items. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to edit the WordPress footer. And now let's try to apply this portfolio grid element into the footer using a widget. First of all, we're gonna go to the page, add new, and we're gonna select our favorite page builder. In my case, I'm gonna be using the WP Bakery. You can use both back end or front end, but I do recommend the back end. And we're gonna select any element that you want. I'm gonna be starting with the portfolio element. We're gonna do the presets of the elements, the columns, we're gonna remove the space, change the link access mode, remove the sort table, and save change. Now, let's check, this is the page, and we're gonna apply this as a widget. How? We're gonna click on the classic mode, And into the text field, we're gonna copy the page builder shortcodes. Now we're gonna back to appearance widgets. We're gonna select a text widget. And we're gonna post the codes into the text tab. Please remember that you select the text tab for both copy and post the page builder shortcodes. By default, WordPress goes to the visual tab, but you just need to switch to the text one. Copy and post. We're gonna add a title to the widget. Save change. And here we go. Once not all the images has the same size, size it looks in this way. But we're gonna change it to the grid at the video end. Now let me try another element. Just to make you not see that everything it's pretty much possible you can create any layout that you want using the page builder elements and simply copy and post the short codes for example a contact form here is a contact form we're gonna switch to the classic mode copy the short codes and 
and post. And now, into your footer layout, you have a contact form. You can apply this into a sidebar widget if you want as well, for your blog or for your single post page. Now, let me create the first show layout using the posts grid. We're gonna change the number of items to display, the grid elements per row, the size between elements, the item design, and once again we're gonna switch to the classic mode. Into the text tab, we're gonna copy and post the codes into our text widget. And we're gonna refresh the page, and here we go! As you can notice, it's simple and easy to apply more complex and advanced layouts into your widgets without needs to extra plugins or coding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio with amazing WordPress themes with all of those features amazing support and much more. I see you later. All the best!